hey guys, I was reading a book that one of my friends wrote about like 2 Timothy, and I found great encouragement from it, and I'm sure you will too. So in 2 Timothy 3, it says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And so, thou therefore, it speaks of obligation or requirement. And so basically, what Paul is saying in here to Timothy is he is giving him like an obligation that he needs to be a good soldier, you know, of Christ. And not just that he like he basically it's a want, it's a need. You have to be a good soldier of Christ to carry out his work. And then we must assume the attitude of a soldier who expects to endure hardship for the cause. And so the thing is many people jump into, you know, like becoming a Christian or, you know, becoming a follower of Jesus and they just think you know, life's going to be easy, and it just isn't. We have to assume that we are going to be a soldier for Christ, and that means, you know, enduring hardships, because even Jesus in the Bible, he said, you know, you'll face tribulations, and, you know, for becoming a follower of him, you know, you're going to have to go through some things, and he never said life would be easy, but he did say it would be worth it if we follow him. And then another, another thing I found really interesting, and that gave me much encouragement is, we must stay in the battle and fight the good fight. A soldier who stops fighting before the action is finished will never see victory. And so remember, guys, we're not here very long on this world. And so we just have to keep pushing, keep fighting, because soon we'll be out of here. But while we are here, we need to keep fighting for the Lord. You know, just keep pushing no matter what is happening around us. And you know, here's the thing is, there's many people out there that need us to keep fighting form. And I know, you know, there's many people in the world that will come against you, but look at Jesus. There are many people that came against him, but he kept doing the will of the Father. And that's exactly how we need to look at things. We need to just keep pushing no matter if persecution comes our way, you know, suffering, no matter what comes our way. We just keep pushing for Christ because in the end it is worth it. And yes, we're in the flesh and there's many things, you know, like in the flesh that we face that we don't want to because we're in the flesh. But, you know, that's the thing that we need to focus on the things we can't see instead of focusing on the things we can see. Because, you know, everything we see right now, it's temporary, but the things we can't see are eternal. And so we just need to keep our eyes on those things, and that will just, you know, give us encouragement to keep on fighting. But guys, I know there's a lot of tough things happening right now, and I just encourage you just to keep pushing, you know, just keep grinding through everything that's coming. And the thing is, do not lean on your strength to do things because we get our strength from the Lord. If you are not looking for strength from the Lord, then you're doing everything wrong because our strength is fleeting, but the Lord's strength is everlasting. So just keep looking to the Lord. Just let him guide you guys. And I'll just see you in our next video. All right, see ya.